Hello guys, welcome to Pinoy Ipsom channel. This is a lecture on how to find deflection and slope of cantilever beam using conjugate beam method. For example, determine the deflection and slope at the 20 kips load in the beam shown. The beam has a constant weight of 12 inches and its depth varies. Now we have suggestion. Take the part of the beam for which the beam varies and divide it into feet sections and use the eye at the center of each of the sections. Then use conjugate beam method. Solution. Now for the reactions. Using the basic knowledge of mechanics. Uh, equilibrium equation. Now, for the vertical reaction, using summation of forces along y is equal to 0, so we have 20 kips. For the moment at fixed support, using summation of moment at any point is equal to 0, so we have 120 kips feet. Now, Take the part of the beam for which the beam varies and divide it into feet sections and use the eye at the center of each of the sections. Now, by ratio and proportion, we can calculate the depth at the center of each of the sections. So, we have 11 inches, 13 inches, then we have 15 inches. For the moment of inertia, we have point A, point B, point C, and point D. Now, for the formula of I is equal to 1 over 12 times B times H raised to 3. Now, for the moment of inertia at segment AB is equal to 1 over 12 times 12 times 15 raised to 3 or is equal to 3,375 inches to the 4th. Now for the moment of inertia at segment BC is equal to 1 over 12 times 12 times 13 raised to 3 is equal to 2,197 inches to the 4th. For the segment CD so, we have 1 over 12 times 12 times 11 raised to 3 or is equal to 1,331 inches to the fourth. For moment by parts, take the resultant moment at point A. So, we have triangle. At point A, we have 20 times 6 or is equal to 120 over EI. At point B, we have 20 times 4 or is equal to 80 over EI. At point C, we have 20 times 2 or is equal to 40 over EI. And by inspection, at point D, we have 0 moment. For conjugate beam, using property number 2, a free end in the actual beam becomes a fixed end in the conjugate beam and conversely. So, ito siya. At point A, we have 120 over EI. At point B, we have 80 over EI. At point C, we have 40 over EI. And then, at point D, we have 0. Then at fixed support of conjugate beam, we have corresponding fictitious bending moment and fictitious shear. Now, balik tayo sa principles. The deflection at a given point of the actual beam is equal to the Bending moment in the corresponding point of the conjugate beam. So we have deflection is equal to bending moment. The slope at a given point 
of the actual beam is equal to the shear in the corresponding point of the conjugate beam. So we have theta is equal to V. Since naka trapezoids ang segment AB and segment BC, so we can divide into triangle and rectangle. Now we have the resultant of each segment. So at segment CD, we have 1 half times 40 over EI times 2 is equal to 40 over EI at segment CD at a distance of 4 over 3 feet from point D. At segment BC, we have 40 over EI times 2 is equal to 80 over EI at segment BC at a distance of 3 feet from point D. Now for the triangle, 40 over EI at segment BC at a distance of 10 over 3 feet from point D. At segment AB, we have 160 over EI at a distance of 5 feet from point D. Then we have triangle, so 40 over EI at a distance of 16 over 3 feet from point D. Okay? Now, ito na yung itsura niya. Okay? Now, for deflection at 20 kips load at point D, using the basic formula of equilibrium, uh, summation of moment at point D is equal to 0, considering counterclockwise positive. So, we have negative M, plus 40 over EI times 4 over 3 plus 80 over EI times 3 plus 40 over EI times 10 over 3 plus 160 over EI times 5 plus 40 over EI times 16 over 3 is equal to 0. So, yung M is equal to Y. So, yung Y is equal to uh, 0 0.51025 over E expressed in keeps feet raised to 3 over inch to the fourth. Or, yung Y is equal to uh, point 51025 times 1000 times 12 raised to 3 over E or 3.12 times 10 to the power of 6 or is equal to 0.283 inch so downward okay uh, for slope at 20 kips load or at point D Using summation of forces along y is equal to 0, v minus 40 over ei minus 80 over ei minus 40 over ei minus 160 over ei minus 40 over ei is equal to 0. v is equal to theta. So, yung theta is equal to 0 0.14393 over E so express in keeps feet squared over inch to the fourth or yung theta is equal to uh, point uh, 14393 times 1000 times uh, 12 squared over E or 3.12 times 10 to the power of 6 or theta is equal to uh, 0 0.00664, so express in radian. Okay?
for our references.